All right, this is video number four, I believe it is, anyway. Um, this is going to be following up on what we did on the last one, which ended the last one looking for 5824 arts. And um, we are going to do everything from the beginning on this particular one. And we're going to take it from the get-go. So if we got an invoice or whatever may be the case that we have to do, we're going to go ahead and do this complete. So take it from the beginning here. All right. So if we go to our spreadsheet, our next one we're looking at on our peach one, remember peach is for what? Three-year labor warranty. The gray down at the bottom is for what? Parts only warranty. Okay. And right now we're trying to process all of our labor warranty so I get paid on it. So the next one we're at here is 5824 Art Street, Barbara Williams. You come into here, you type, go into qualify, you type in Barbara Williams, you pull it up. Now, next thing you want to do is you want to go see, do we have any files uploaded? Because when you come across here, all the way across, boom, I'm going to highlight that one right there. So I know where I'm at upload all documents so here's where we are I don't have a vendor credit yet for this particular part okay um, uh, this is a rude part so I just have not got my credit yet back when Coburn's credits me back for that invoice I will put the, uh, the credit memo number here with the total of it right here then I come to the next thing I need to do which is what upload all the documents so I'm going to go into that pink one I just got finished doing and put yes on it. And now I'm going to type yes in here even though I haven't done it yet because I'm fixing to do it right now in this video. So upload documents. We're going to do it as we speak right now, okay? I'm going to go through the whole process of everything you're doing. Comfort Shield got a got the uh, Comfort Shield um, contract number here and then the authorization number here. So, boom, that's where we are. All right, let's go with it. All right, so we're going to minimize this down. We are looking for, let's get out of here so we know where we are again. Save pics to email, double click it, bring it up. You're looking for 3824 Art, uh, I'm sorry, 5824 Art Street. And I have no 5824 Art Street in here at all. So I have to right click, hit new, hit a folder. Make a folder, 5824 Art Street, and that is going to be Barbara Williams. And so now we're going to go ahead and save that one in there. So now what we need to do is we need to put all of the documents in there. So when we go into Lennox Pros and into Comfort Shield, we know where we got to upload all those documents into. Okay, so we're going to start off with... Uh, um, uh, attached documents so the first one you're going to go into is the actual invoice that we did in order to replace that particular TXV because this is an expansion valve that needs to be replaced so here is the invoice that we did it you're going to hit download on here or upload whatever you want to call it downloading it we are going to name that as invoice 164999, 164999, uh, re and we're going to say what it is. Replace TXV. So now I know what I'm uploading when I, when I go in there. Don't ever hit save right now because it's always on the wrong one up top right here. So you got to go back to save picks. It will never pull up the correct one. So always remember that that's how some of the other stuff got put in the wrong folders because I probably hit save on it without looking to see that it was in the right folder so you got to pick the right folder 5824 arts hit save on it now you can get out of this one here and then we got to go into the next one which is our PMA so 621 we actually did a PMA so I pre looked at this to find where this is to make the video a little shorter there's my uh, preventative maintenance, save as. Where are we saving it to? See, it did not pick the right one again. So we gotta go back in here, and what one was that? 30, 5824 is what it was. 5824 arts right here. See how it never picks the right one? Now this one here is gonna be, save that as 
5824 arts and this is going to be PMA PMA 2023 so you know what you're uploading okay um, save that exit out of there then you want to come down and you want to go into the comfort shield I want to upload the comfort shield that shows that particular model and serial number on the comfort shield Comfort Shield, it finally picked the correct one this time. <laughs> Save that one. So my Comfort Shield is uploaded in here. You're going to need the uh, part for from Linux. So you need to know what PO number that we're actually looking for. Where are you going to find the PO number? I'll give you two ways to find it. Go back to your spreadsheet right here. Which one are we working on? We're working on 5824 Arts, the purchase of it. The PO is 27661 right here. So I need to go find Coburn's invoice for 27661. So now I'm going to go ahead into my Chrome. I'm going to go into Coburn's and my username. here secure it boom sign in you go where it says hi Eric invoice summary and I'm going to be looking for 27661 is the PO I am looking for after my invoices upload go to search 27661 now look they have a vendor credit right here of 27661 right here that's that just got done on 76 so what I'm looking for right now is this particular one I'm going to download this particular one because I need to save it so when you hit download on there it takes a minute so I've done this a bunch of times that when I hit download and I it's not up, so I hit it a couple times, and I get three or four of them across the board. So just hit it and wait. Then you got to go hit download right there, and then you're going to change this to PO two seven six six one and, and put Coburn's on it. Okay. And is it in the right one? Fifty eight twenty four. The answer is yes. Save it. So then get out of here and you're back into where you were here before. Hit your little arrow to the left. And then 27661. If you copy it like this, copy and then just paste again. It's going to, and then hit enter. It's going to pull that credit memo back up. Okay. So the credit memo, you're going to go ahead and hit print on it. And it's just something that was just recently just done. $124.68. So $124.68. So while I'm on here, where's my credit memo at for that particular part? Did I actually do it? There's the PO for it. So let's go over and continue. And what am I looking for right here? $124.68. So I just answered the question as I was doing this other work. What is my credit memo? Well, let's get the invoice and figure it out. So this is my credit right here, up at the top, my credit memo, CM, CM4062141122, so we're going to highlight it, we're going to highlight our price down at the bottom down here, and we're going to highlight our vendor credit, okay? I'm not going to do anything else with this other than copy the vendor credit number on it, because I just filled, my, filled another blank that I needed to fill anyway. You know, once I got the information, I had to put it in anyway. So since I pulled that up and I figured it out that it was there, I might as well print it and do part of my job while I'm doing it, you know. So now that part of my deal is finished with.
that's Coburn's invoice that still needs to be processed. So I'm gonna go in here to Coburn's not done. I'm gonna put it in here. I just printed one that just needs to be done later. No problem, we'll get to it. Fix that back in there. All right, now we're gonna continue over with our claim, right? So this is the one we're working on. Click, 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 go. We are, where are we at anyway? We're below, let's see what number we're on. I wish my screen was a lot bigger. Let's see, we are on parts 106 is where we're at. So we're gonna highlight it, and see where we are over here. So I uploaded all my documents, yes. So here we are, we're ready to go into the claim now, okay? I got everything I need from Coburn's here. So we can get out of Coburn's now, I can go back into Linux Pros. Sign in on Linux Pros. Hit sign in. Hit warranty. Hit comfort shield. Wait for it to pull up. Now, what do we actually change here? I think it's a TXV. Yep, TXV. Manage claims. Claims. Submit a claim. Enter a claim. Contract number. No problem. Here we are. Right down here. One oh six is where we're at. Right across here. Here's my contract number. Copy that. So what may help when you're doing this particular one is go to this line right here as you're working on it because you're going to change it to pink when you're finished. So how about just change it to white while you're working on it and that way you don't have to figure out which one it is on every line every time, you know, or change it to a different color. So now they're, you're on white now, so boom. Now my eyes can go right there every time now and put all my information in. So there is my contract number here. We're going to hit it. So we have a TXV we're changing here. A TXV is going to actually be on the coil, so I'm going to click the coil on it. We're going to create a claim. The equipment you select does not match the claim information we have in our records. We will create... Uh, we will create a new claim number for you. Okay. Next. Authorization number is there. Invoice submitted by Eric. Dealer invoice number. Again, my dealer invoice number. What do we have to do? We want to go and we want to see if 5824 Art Street has a complete care deal 5824 we're going to go to qualify we're going to type in 5824 and arts is the very top one so we're going to go in and click into it we're going to go into dispatches is there an open dispatch you, you see one here that's not complete right now okay it's got the claim number on it this is for a 10-year parts uh excuse me for replacing it we're going to go ahead and copy the dispatch number right copy that and now we can get out of there at this point in time. Actually, I just minimized the whole thing. I'll put my dealer invoice number in. I'm going to paste it. It's Comfort Shield. I'm going to make a CS on it. Date. Where's my date at? So if I go into ESC and I go 5824, and I go on my qualify, not dispatch. Go 5824. And it's Barbara Williams on here, so I go into it, and my date of service was what? Was 621, I believe. 621, 
if we go into documents, evaporator coil, this is when we actually did our, our spring PMA, which is on 621. So date of service, which is 621. So 621, when is my annual? 621. 621, I'm on the wrong month. 621, date of failure, 621. Problem, metering device. Device not opening. Correctly. All right. Who is the service tech? Was Chris. Select, repair, perform. We're looking for an expansion valve, gas metering device right here. Replace Schrader service valve. Replace TXV right there. We're gonna hit finished. And let's see what they say for TXV. I'm new to this game, so I don't know off the top of my head. So we are going to go look for TXB to see if it actually has it on it anywhere in here, which it probably does because it's a common problem on here. TXB valve, 2.5 hours. Okay. So 2.5, 2.5 is right there. Boom. Well, process it totals 312 on there uh, submit a part well I think we forgot to submit the other part earlier so we're gonna go back and we're gonna do that here in just two seconds what is my part we're gonna choose a file and we have got to go into 5824 art street which is somewhere in here right here and invoice TXV Coburn's right here is my part we're going to upload that where it was supposed to be. We're going to go back up and do something we didn't do earlier, which we should have done. We're going to go into the document type, annual maintenance, choose a file, spring PMA, upload it. Click in here again. We're going to upload other documents, choose a file, uh, comfort shield, upload it, submit a form. Other document, choose file, uh, replace TXV, which is the invoice, upload that file. Now we can continue down. So I uploaded all my crap. I uploaded it here as well. What is my part number, guys? My part number is right here, which is, come on, get back over where you were. Double click. My part number is the PD61. Copy that, part number there, paste it there. My part description is a TXV. What is the brand? I'm just gonna say rude. Quantity is one, the price on it is what? 124.68, 124.68. Part markup, I believe you can get 25% on that particular deal. Um, take below 40% market was authorized for parts for hundred dollars and lower and then 25% so 124.68 124.68 times 25% is 31.17 31.17 tab it hit you, hit your little plus on it it's giving me an X there let's see if it tells me I can I know so far we're good on it okay we're good so far uh, did we have to put refrigerant in the system yes we did uh, price per pound I remember it was 31 is what was allowed no nope, maybe 30 let's see all right there you go. Trip charge, $85, 518 total. Next. Don't need any considerations. I'm not asking to do any considerations. Everything's here. Process through. Submit the claim. Claim has successfully been submitted. Now we're going to, eyeballs can go right to the white one over here. Move it on over. 
What is my claim number? 216-46-46177. All right, what's my total amount now? Oh, I don't remember what it was. But if I hit print, I will print it. And I will give it a total over there, which once I hit print, and I look at it, it will then give me a total, 518.67. 1867. Where am I right here? What is my ESC invoice? Now I gotta go back over in to ESC now, don't I? Go back over to ESC. I go back to qualify. Well, here's my dispatch with complete care. Okay. There is my invoice number again on my dispatch. I'm gonna copy it. Here is my dispatch. I'm going to create an invoice for this dispatch. Salesperson is me. Clerk is me. It's under warranty. I'm going to change the invoice number to the dispatch number of the other one. I'm going to put CS in front of it. That's going to be my invoice. I'm going to go down to the item. I'm just going to type in 10 with a Y and a to 10 year my top one's gonna pop up I'm gonna go ahead and just type in authorization number I don't know why I'm doing authorization number but I guess I got started doing it and so be it all right authorization number is here copy paste and then we're gonna put description was replaced TXV and the total was, I don't remember, total. 51867. 518.67. And we are now going to highlight the invoice number. You have to do that. We're going to save it and we're going to file it. We're going to post it to QuickBooks. You have to do these steps. You have to do these steps. Now it is posted to QuickBooks. And what is my invoice number? I've already copied it. I'm going to paste it right there. And did you post it to QuickBooks? The answer is yes. If that number comes back, if that invoice comes back in, and they do not credit me $518.67, then all we do is we just go back into the invoice in ESC and we change it to whatever number they have and then we save it and then post it again in the QuickBooks and then we have the correct number in QuickBooks so that we can accept it in QuickBooks. Again, remember my, my stack of shit over here that I have to look for 5824 Art Street, which I have it in numer numerical order as well. 54 and then here we are 5824 there's my file there so I need to reduce that file down this goes on top of here All right there's my invoice there was my part that was brought back this is the same one that I ended up uh, getting the um, the vendor credit from Coburn, so all that's in here. And then um, I'm going to just type on here received, which is the warranty form. I received the credit on it. So, boom, this completes this whole deal here. Copy it, save it, post it, all that crap. Take this, and where do we put it at? We are putting it into the purple one here. It says waiting on vendor credit and all that other crap with the three year labor warranty. So I think I want to do one that says waiting on uh, three year labor warranty to be paid, and then another one that says waiting on vendor credit payments. So that will separate these and these up here. Okay? So as of now, I just have them in here. Good to, good to go. That concludes that one particular um, claim so we did everything on here right 
So now that we did everything on here, what are we going to do with it? We are going to change it to pink. So pink means what? It's pending waiting for payments. Boom. Well, change it to pink. And we are on to the next one. 1705, Shadow Lake. So let's go and see if I have the information on 1705 Shadow Lake. There's 1705 Forest. Does that make any sense? Let's double click into it and see if it makes any sense. Or did something get written on there? Nope, that's 1705 Horse. All right. So let's go back into my form here. 1705 Shadow Lake, that's D. Williams. So I don't know. Horse had to be something completely different. 1705 Shadow Lake, D. Williams. Let's go back into, let's see if I have anything. I may not have anything. May have to start from scratch. If I do, I will get out of this and go back into it. So I don't have any 1705 Shadow Lake in here. Make sure I wasn't in another time zone when I did this. Nope. So I am going to right click, hit new, hit folder, and hit 1705 Shadow Lake. Okay. So I have to start from scratch again. Oil. Qualify. 1705. Shadow Lake. Demetrius Williams. What am I looking for to put in Shadow Lake? So there's my there's my uh, folder over here. I am going to go into my attached documents first of all. Well, let's go see what date this was so we can kind of get some format on it to see what's going on. I got a breaker, and that breaker falls underneath the air handler, is what it is. It was a truck stop breaker, so let's see. Yeah, we could do that. Let's see. Double click into here. Acid wash, blue drain line, spring PMA, and add a little Freon into the system. Okay, so it's not that invoice there. Let's go down. Indoor temperatures, comfort shield, three-year labor warranty. So what date are we looking for here, guys? 511. So we'll go to 511 right here. Let's go on 511 invoice. Service, rude breaker. So it's a rude breaker. All right, so what are we going to do? This is the actual invoice. Save as. Where are we saving it? We are going to 1705 Shadow Lake. This is going to be um, invoice. And the invoice is 1705 Shadow Lake. And invoice uh, and I'm gonna put in here replace and what, what, what did we replace over there 1705 shadow lake a breaker replace breaker okay all right so we can upload that save that exit out of there what else do we need guys we need our spring PMA here's my spring PMA right click it save as Make sure it's in the right one. It is in Shadow Lake. 1705 Shadow Lake. Spring PMA. Save it in there. Exit out of it. We have now. What was a breaker purchased for this particular deal? Let's go look. So in order to find the PO right here to see if a breaker was actually purchased, then we actually have to go into Coburn's, okay? Or in this case, we actually have to go into the dispatching of that one particular dispatch and we have to find 511, which is probably not gonna be in there because I think he had this breaker in his truck. I'm recording here. <laughs> Uh, you ordered parts. There's no part ordered in here. And we have to go to the next one, which is on 511. 
you ordered parts on it, there's your breaker right here. Well, this is actually a vendor credit. Your vendor credit is 27369 on here. So um, because I have a vendor credit on here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to find that on Coburn's and I'm going to upload that 27369 so that I have to go into um, Coburn's here and get back into it. What you up to, buddy? I just I was right across the street, right, right in a, an accident. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing some training right now on video, so that when I hire people in, they can watch the video. They can watch the videos, and I can do what I'm doing out there, and then come back later. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. So invoices right here, and again, I forgot what number we're looking for so let's go back into it you ordered parts two seven three six nine go back in here two seven three six nine we're looking for two seven three six nine there's your vendor credit right here we pull it up we download it waiting for the download Ron just bought him a trailer for um, uh, his kayak. I, I ran across a customer. Hit download on here. We are going to rename this to 27, what the hell is that, PO? 27369. Uh, PO-27369. Uh, Coburn's. That way you know what it is. Save that, make sure it's in the correct one. I believe we were working at, no, it was 1705. See, they're trying to, I don't know why it pulls up 5824 Arts right here. We need to go back in here, and it was 1705. Shadow Lake is where we need to put it. So make sure you're saving that in the right spot. So now that invoice is now saved in. Your invoice is in there. So there's only one other thing I am looking for when I go into here, which kind of don't have to do this but I want to do it anyway if I go into qualify and I go into documents and I go and I look for the registration of that particular deal which literally Comfort Shield is going to have their own registration so once you have a certificate number I don't know why I even do it but I do it anyway and 1705 is already up there I found it and we're going to hit registration on here um, and we're going to hit Comfort Shield CS. We're going to save it. Once you've saved it, you can get out of here now. You can get out of here. And I'm going to minimize that. So now we have follow this over. Again, I'm going to turn this one since I'm working on it. I'm going to turn it to white so that my eyeballs can go to the correct place every time. Um, I do have a vendor credit on that particular one. They did credit me back on it. I have a correct memo on it. Um, upload all documents. Now that I've uploaded all the documents, I'm going to put yes in here. I'm going to continue this over. Um, so here's where we are right here. And it looks like I already did this for this particular one, unless I'm clicking on the wrong one here. 1705 Shadow Lake. So yeah, I did. I actually went through and I did this entire thing. So this particular deal I've already done. So how do you know it's done? Let's just say it's not there and let's just go look at Comfort Shield real quick. So we're gonna go back into here. We're gonna go back into Linux Pros. We are gonna hit sign in. This, my account, invoices and payments. No, that's not where I want to be, I'm sorry. I want to go into warranty. I want to go into warranty. And then I want to go into Comfort Shield. And let's go into let's go into claim number. Okay, so let's go see. Now see my claim number in here is right here. So let's go search for the claim number and we're going to see if it actually processed through once this thing pulls up. So I ran across a uh, customer that had a, uh, 
jet ski that they got rid of some kind of way, shape, or form, and they still had the trailer. So he's needing the trailer for his um, uh, kayak. his kayak, yeah. And uh, so the guy don't have any paperwork on it or anything like that. He ended up getting a nice trailer for a hundred bucks, you know. I mean, who who actually looks at your license plate when you're pulling a kayak? You know what I mean? Not many people, <laughs> unless you just ran a red light. Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm speaking to a cop here. <laughs> <laughs> So he ain't gonna pull me over just with, with no license plate on a trailer for a kayak. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go review a claim uh, by contract, okay? Or uh, we can hit review all claims. We're gonna do by contract. So the contract number, we're gonna review a claim. And the contract number, which I don't have my contract number sitting right there, it just have CS on it. So if you go into here, your contract number is going to be right up top right here. I'll copy that. And then I'm going to go back into here, which it should have been put in there. Oops, wrong place. It should have been put in there to begin with. Paste is going to be in there. Now I can go back into here and I can put my contract number in there. Paste it. I can search for it. And I can hit my contract number in there. And I can hit view all claims well what did we do here let's see what we did to begin with to see what we're looking at it's a breaker so it's going to be a breaker for the air handler which there's going to be my air handler i'm going to view the claim on it so this is just something you can do to view the claims there you go invoice number right there so there's my process 234 dollars and 84 cents oh i got it highlighted in white over here so $234.84. So this concludes this video of doing this one claim that I went to go do and it's already done. So if somebody already did this, then it's going to show it in here. And even if you process the whole nother claim, they're not going to pay it because they already have it in here. And I didn't realize I was, as I was doing this that, it, you know, I didn't highlight it to see where we were on it. So since it was already processed, I can view it and see where I'm at right there. So this particular one is done. And then I'm going to highlight that particular one all the way across. And we are just waiting for our money. So we're going to turn that into pink. Ah, damn it. Back again. Put that as pink. That solidifies that. Now all we're doing is we're waiting for the um, comfort shield to pay me. And that concludes this particular video for the next one looking at. And we're going to kick into another one here in just a minute. And um, we'll do a couple more until we get these things finished. So I'm updated and you have a whole bunch of videos you can learn. Thank you.